80% of teachers polled by TES believe that children who engage in educational activities over the summer are more likely to make a good transition to a new key stage in September. But what can you do to keep your child learning? Well, we've got 10 top tips for you, all of which will keep them entertained and keep them learning new things right through the summer. Number one, grow some plants. Get out in the garden or get yourself a window box and there are lots of things you can do. Here are three ideas. Number one, plant some sunflower seeds and see whose sunflower grows the tallest. Number two, get some egg shells, put a bit of cotton wool in there with some cress seeds and you can grow some cress heads. And number three, get some tomato plant seeds, plant these and see what grows. Maybe it'll bear fruit over the summer. As well as this, you might like to research the best tips for making sure those plants grow well. And through this, you'll be helping your child take responsibility for something living. Plus, you've got the excitement of watching something grow and develop over the course of the six-week holidays. Tip number two, start a writing project. Why not create a diary of the summer holidays that you and your child complete together? You can include all sorts of exciting things in there pictures, photographs, drawings, tickets from trips that you go on, and you can discuss it as well. Or you could set your child the challenge of writing a story every week, a story that you and they then read together. Tip number three, plan educational trips. Museums, galleries, exhibitions, even adventure playgrounds. There's so many places where learning happens naturally. And a really good idea is to do a bit of research in advance so you make the most out of the trip. Speak and listen. Having conversations, discussing ideas, asking your child questions, all of this stimulates their thinking. So if you take time out to speak and listen over the course of the summer holidays, you can guarantee that you'll be helping your child to learn, to think and to develop. Tip five, read together. We all know how important reading is, so encourage your child to do it as much as possible. You might like to set them a challenge, for example, five books over the course of the summer, or even more. But another great idea is to read together. This turns reading into a social activity. It means you and your child are bound into the book and you have lots of opportunities to discuss things, to talk about them, and maybe to imagine new things as well. Tip six, play the fool. Uh, what do you mean by that? Can you tell me more? When you do this, you put the onus back onto your child. So say they're telling you something or they're explaining something. If you play the fool, it encourages them to tell you more, to go into further detail and to further articulate their thoughts. And of course, this is a great way to help them to think and to help them to learn. Tip seven, daily challenge. At the start of the holiday, sit down with your child and come up with a challenge for every day of the break. Write these on separate pieces of paper and then scrunch the paper up and put it in a cup. You've now got a way of selecting a random challenge that you can do together for every day of the holiday. Tip eight, create. Something, anything. It doesn't matter what, it could be a dance routine, a story, a picture, even a television program. Doing something creative is a great way to inspire your child, to get them thinking, to get them working, get their brains ticking over. And of course, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes and challenges are part of the creative process. Anytime your child is thinking creatively, it's a great way for them to learn about the world, but also to learn about themselves. Tip nine, build a museum. Sit down with your child and pick a topic that you're both interested in, for example, nature, and then start collecting some exhibits. So you might go in the back garden, go to the local park, bring everything back, and soon the kitchen table is gonna be groaning under the weight of museum pieces, waiting to be labeled, sorted, and discussed. Tip 10, turn the tables. Children love to test their parents in more ways than one. Why not set your child the challenge of writing a quiz which you then take along with maybe your partner or a friend and compete for a small prize. 
your young quiz master will be writing the questions and answers, knowing that they're going to be testing you, but of course, they're going to be learning as they go as well.